Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another video. I am back from my holidays and ready to get crafting. Today, I'm going to be casing a card from a catalog, and I'm going to show you some other ideas for this kind of a layout. I hope you enjoy it. Let's go down to my desk and get started. And because the date is, what is the date today? Uh, February 21st, you have just a little over a week left in the celebration catalog. So if you're interested in anything out of that catalog, you'll need to order within the next eight days. So uh, I am going to be showing you, I'm using two things from the celebration catalog today. One I, you've seen already and one is new to you, so I will share all that with you next. Um, the catalog, I mentioned I'm casing a card from a catalog. This happens to be an old catalog. This was the September to December 2023, so this one ended in December of last year, but I had this marked as a card that I wanted to case this one right here. It's on page 45. I do not have this stamp set, but I thought that had a lot of possibilities. So I'm going to put that to the side and I can show you at the end. What we are using today is the Trusty Tools DS Toolbox DSP. So I have shown this to you before. It's the one with all the different tools and um, toolboxes, pegboards. So that one you've seen before. Another paper we're going to be using today is um, Most Adored. This is a celebration paper that you can choose for a $60 purchase. And it had a lot of hearts on it. And it is real red, foolery flamingo, and there is gold on the other side. So if you haven't seen it, it's cute paper really cute on this side and I can see using it not only for, I'm sure lots of people used it for Valentine's Day, but not only for that, but for weddings or um, a Galentine or a Valentine or um, anniversary paper or just girl paper because there is a lot of pink in it. Okay, the other side, if you hadn't seen it, is uh, the gold foil and I know this is, I've got a real glare on my camera, but um, beautiful paper. It can be colored with your blending brushes or your sponge daubers. Really pretty paper. I love this one. You can see I've got a chunk taken out of it, but it is that 12 by 12 with the hearts going one way that way and the hearts going one way this way. So it makes really nice card fronts if you cut it at four by five and a quarter. That would make a nice card front. We are using this side today with the plaid and you maybe understand why I chose plaid, just because the card that I am casing has a plaid kind of background, but I think they did that with one of our masks and ink with a blending brush, but I chose to use, just take that away from there, was the plaid. So what you're going to need today is a card base. This one is real red. Five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and it is going to be a tent fold, so it will open this way. So we'll put that there. I used the Stylus Shapes dies, so I used the largest square to cut another piece of real red, and then I put it through the um, embossing folder that sort of looks like cross hatching, uh, the Basics 3D embossing folders. That's the one that comes with three embossing folders in it and it sort of has that pattern. Now again this uh, square is two and three quarters square so you could just cut a two and three quarter inch square if you don't have these dies. Okay so we need that square and then I cut a piece of that paper and it is four by five and a quarter so it's going to go on our front just like this and showing the real red around the edges. Now that card that I showed you in the catalog actually was a square card well um, we're going to use our regular size card but i like the fact that they tipped their 
square that they cut out, they tipped it like this. I really liked the, the look of that. And then they built all that other, the fruit and everything on top. Well, today we're using the tools. So I don't have the trusty tools, stamp set or dies. So I just cut out, fussy cut out a whole bunch of tools from that paper, which you saw right here. That was that sheet right there that I cut out of. All the different tools. So you can choose what tools you want to cut out. And I just thought I'm going to do some playing with it a little bit. I also used um, the stamp set He's All That. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to make this into a Father's Day card, but you could make it into a birthday card or whatever you want. So I used this greeting, wishing you a happy Father's Day, which comes out of that set. And I used this die from the style of shapes and you can see that I've made it longer and I've made it just flat on one end. I only wanted it bannered on one end. So I'm sure everybody knows how to do that. If you don't, it goes through your machine part way and you cut it that way and then you move this down and you cut it that way to make the edges. So I can show you that another time but that's a way to make use of a die when it's not quite the right size. So this is pretty simple. We're going to put it together uh, just as it is, I'm going to start by putting the plaid paper on the front of my card. Now, I did say I'd been away, so I think it's been three weeks since I've made any cards, and so let's hope my glue will flow today, because I haven't been here to use it. It looks good. So I'm just going to center this on the card front, like that, and whoops, I thought, I think this has a little bit of glue on it, I'm going to flip it over, Let's stick into my card here. I wanted to kind of center this, but when I centered it, it sort of was here. I don't know if I like the look of that, but that's okay, I think I'm gonna center it. I am going to glue it flat down. I'm not going to put it on dimensionals of any sort. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue that square down to the center. And like I said, I sorta of wanted to have it centered on here. It's kind of nice to have the lines because you can kind of line it up. And then I thought, I was playing around with all these pieces and I thought, you know what, I cut this is one of the pieces of paper with the ruler on it. And I thought, you know what, I might just put it underneath the greeting like that. And then I thought I would just go ahead and put all my tools on here, just however I thought they looked good. Uh, that one's not gonna be there. And the pencil, you can cut out, there's all kinds of things you can cut out. There's hammers, there's all the different wrenches, there's drills, pencils. So however you want to cut it out and then just glue your pieces down. That's as easy as this is going to be today. So I am going to put some glue on my ruler here and attach it down to my card. I'm going to move all these things off. So this card will look very different than the one that's in the catalog, but I really thought it was a cute layout and um, lots of possibilities because they had all the fruit built on here but if you have other things like we have all these tools why can't we do that I think I may raise the greeting up on dimensionals so I have those here turn that over and I will put the dimensionals right in the middle so that I can tuck the tools underneath it when I'm ready to put them on. And I know this is very early for Father's Day, but I thought that would be a good uh, card to make with this, with all these tools. I'm just going to, I think, center that like that. And then I might put a couple of these up on dimensionals. I might put that 
tape measure up on dimensionals just because I like the way it sort of looked there. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but um, I used this and it was on the edge of the paper, so it actually cut off the little metal piece that was there. But I don't think anyone's going to know the difference, just you and I, because we have the paper. So I'm going to put that like that, and then I'm going to build, whoops, all these other things around it. And see how I like the look of all of these. Again, you can play with it, you can place them on here before you glue them down, of course. And this. Oopsie. So, I hope everybody's had a great past, uh, well, I think it's been three weeks since I've been on. I, as you know, I was away on a holiday. I was in Hawaii. We started off in Kauai and then went to the Big Island, which is our favorite island. And we had never been to Kauai before, so that was interesting. I am all about, because I live in Alberta, I am all about somewhere warm in the winter months. And unfortunately, Kauai is um, more of a tropical climate. So it was rained every day at some point. And uh, wasn't that, the temperature wasn't that warm. So my husband was very disappointed because he likes the heat as well as I do. And uh, that's not really what we're seeking when we go on our winter vacation. So that was a bit of a disappointment. Not that we didn't sort of know it, because other people had, that have been there have told us that about Kauai. But anyway, it was uh, an interesting vacation. Kauai is a beautiful island. It is so, because of all the rain, it is so lush and green. Just going to tuck that under there. Okay, and um, really, really a beautiful island. It really is. This glue is really flowing today, much more than I want it to be. So I'm going to just put this on my silicone mat and leave some of the glue behind. And I think, I think I'm just going to put that down like that. Okay, so there's a bunch of tools and there's the outside of our card. Easily done. And I fussy cut all these pieces out, as I said before. And this is a sheet of designer series paper here. And then for the inside, I used my deckled rectangles, which you know I like to use, and I'm going to put it in there. And from the designer series paper, these two tools were on the edge, so you know, cut right off, but I'm not wasting them. I'm going to put them on the edge here and decorate the inside of my card because we like the inside done too. That should be good. Okay, I think I'm going to put it right here on the edge, just like that, and then I will glue this in, and I'm not putting anything on the inside of this card. Uh, I don't know who I'll be giving it to, possibly one of my son-in-laws, or my, sorry, my son-in-law or my son, so I will decide what I'm writing in it after, but there we go. So there we have that simple card, very simply made. And uh, can I can just think of all kinds of our stamp sets and that a company dies that would go along with that. And there it is, the cased card. Like I said, the card was, when you're casing a card from anywhere, catalog or from another demonstrator or another crafter, um, take from it what you want. Like I didn't want a square card, so I made it my own. I didn't want to do the blending brush and the masking, so I chose to use uh, plaid paper and then just to build on this. So they look quite different, as you can see. 
but I think that's very effective and an easy way to use up that paper that we have for celebration. Now, this paper, I don't know if I ever mentioned that it does coordinate with the trusty tools bundle that is in your mini catalog that's current right now till the end of April. So there's, there's the, it's on page 56. There is the stamps and the dies that coordinate. So you can see these dies will cut out a lot of these tools, but the tools aren't hard to fussy cut, which is what I did, which you just saw. So there's some more ideas for making cards with it. Great Father's Day cards or birthday cards, or there's even a thank you card here. So that coordinates with that paper if you get that with Celebration. So remember that Celebration is almost over. So take advantage of it if you can. As far as I know, nothing is out of stock. Um, because once it's gone, it's gone. With Celebration, you won't see it come back because Celebration is almost over, of course. But I haven't seen any notices that says anything is gone. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I was going to say for my envelope, I probably will use a piece of the plaid paper on the envelope flap. Or you could use a piece of this paper with the tools on it on the envelope flap. There's lots of other paper in here too. There's the sheet with the ruler on it. And you can see I just cut one of the rulers out. So you could even use that on the envelope flap. That would look cute. All right, I hope that gives you some ideas how to use this, and I hope everybody has a super week. I'll see you next week. Bye now.